Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's your favorite South Florida real estate expert, Jason Matuk here, back with another luxury home tour. Today, I brought you to Boca Raton, to Royal Palm Yacht and Country Club to show you this brand new, built in 2023, five bedroom, six bathroom, just under 10,500 square foot home, and it's asking just under $18 million. And before we get started, I just wanna say thank you to the listing agent, Marcy, with Signature One Real Estate for allowing us to do this tour. And on that note, without further ado, let's just get it started. So as soon as we come up the driveway, you have your two car garage, but more importantly, over here, we have this single car garage where I parked my car. And from inside, you can see from the club room and from the office right over here into the garage. So you can see your trophy car, your Lamborghini, and I think it's time just to head inside because there's so much to look at. This is a beautiful home with tons of upgrades, tons of finishes, and I can't wait to show it to you. So let's open the front door now and head inside. So the first thing that you notice is the 24 foot high ceilings leading up to this incredible light fixture. Also on my right, before we even get further down, look at the staircase. You got the porcelain tile on the main floor going up the steps, it's accent lit. And then just over here, you have the oak wood glass staircase. It's got marble on the backsplash. There's, there's more material here than in the Home Depot. And this is just your staircase. Not to mention the stones and the plants throughout. It's just so tastefully done just for the entrance. And you want that appeal when you come home. And then on my left, this is pretty cool. Frameless doors that slide open. And you see this motif a lot throughout the house. And then here we have a very simple yet effective office. You know. Put your art on the wall, make it lively. You got a closet. You have access to a shared bathroom between here and the uh, entertainment room. We'll get to that in a second. But the key feature, as I mentioned outside, is from right here, you can look, see your trophy car. For you, a Lamborghini Ferrari. For me, your dad's SUV, you know? One day, one day. And so when we make our way back out of this office, we're gonna get into the meat and potatoes of this house. The real part, come down a little further takes us in to our formal sitting, entertaining room, and there is just a million things to talk about. I wanna start it on my right over here. One of my favorite things, something that I like to partake in multiple times a week, glass of wine, and what a place to have it. Temperature controlled, look at the storage, display your best, have the different sections, the Pinot Grigios, the Cabernets, your accessories, and like I said, chili in here. Either come in here to cool off or get a cold drink, pick. Check out the sitting room. This is a really elegant take on it. You got the two armchairs, the curved sofa, the beautiful wooden table, all just facing where your porch, outdoor patio, your water fountain, your pool, everything over here. This room also has a beautiful fireplace, marble, mantle down over here leading up and then the lights curve and go down so you don't have high hats you have these long extended lights so it gives you that like showroom feel just in your living room how nice is that and before we get down to the kitchen just over here we're going to have your club entertaining room and four of the guests shared with that office the half bathroom i do want to take you in because before i empty open the door look at this you almost don't even notice it so it's flush and when you open it up, it takes you in. Look at that, boom, into here. And this is a full bathroom. Your shower, imagine taking a shower in here, how cozy, you know what I mean? It's like, put, cue rain. I'll put some rain, lo-fi beat, take a shower, it'd be nice. I think it'd be really nice in here. And then we hop out, on my right, we're gonna have the great room. And wait, just like I said, the doors again, I love these doors, look at them. It's kind of like translucent almost, but it gives you that like wow feeling and they're frameless. And as, you, as soon as you step in, you can see a few things right away. Place to sit and watch TV, a lovely accent lighting throughout. Foosball table, of course, family favorite. Who doesn't love a nice game? Just like that, easy going. How about this, a corner area, play some chess. These pieces, the weight, feel this. Feel the weight on this, Justin. Wow, quality right here. Can't tell you what piece is what though. And then over here, you have your glowing bar, all the fixings, drink cooler down below, glass cocktail holder. 
and then more on this side, sink, you got the works. This is the place where you entertain, this is where you throw your housewarming party, and then of course, to top it all off, the rarest car of all, you keep it in here, you got the chandelier to add that showroom glow effect, which I think is amazing, and this is where you show off your newest car. It's just like part of the room, it's an entertaining piece, you can also access it through here, so if you want to leave like Batman and head to your meeting, this is where you do it. Really cool. As we make our way back in, I'm gonna take you to the kitchen now. And just, I mean, even when I'm walking, notice the details. The wood going up to the ceiling from the wall, these little lights coming down. It's so tastefully done. Even though this is a brand new home, it feels like you're buying like someone's home who moved in and did these upgrades themselves. It doesn't feel like a cold, neutral, modern home. And as we make our way in, here we have it. And here we have your marble kitchen. All the countertops and backsplashes are marble, even where the vent is, is marble. So it's covered in the finest materials. You got island number one with the sink, sleek light fixture. And then in here you have island number two, and this is where your cooking appliances are gonna be. You have the beautiful six burning wolf stove skillet for cooking those crepes. Why not? What else do you use a skillet for? Wolf appliances continue with the ovens, the microwave. And if you wanna go down this way with me, just over here, you can see the little light to let you know. You kinda of just like put your foot underneath, trash opens up, and when you're done, close it up. Very nice. How about this? Charging your iPhones, people. We do it all the time. Click this little button, pop up socket. When it's closed, give it a little push. Boom, beautiful. Doubles as a coaster, just kidding. Fridge and freezer right over here. And then as we make our way down, dining room. Look at this. Nice and open, no obstructing walls. I love the vibe. Light fixture above to illuminate you while you have an amazing meal with you and your favorite people. And then this is the family TV room. We have these two beautiful sofas, corner view looking out into the backyard, into your patio, your pool. TV on the wall, massive TV. Even the entertainment setup is beautiful and you have that same wood accent that goes up onto the ceilings where your speakers are throughout. The subtle details like having plants on this corner with the light shining down below on it, just stuff like that that I really love and appreciate. And then just over here, we have what you would consider your cabana bathroom. The finishes in here, also amazing. You have this circular stone sink, walk-in shower with rain head above and then access straight outside into your patio. So you can take a shower, do your thing out here. And you know, I think we should just take this while we're here, show you outside. Here we have it, stepping outside, unbelievable. You can hear it already, there's a fountain somewhere over there. We're gonna start off with the summer's kitchen. Fridge down below, sink, and then you have your beautiful Sedona grill. Burger night, wings, Anything you want right over here. While you're grilling, Meisner Park in the distance, your beautiful, quiet, private backyard. And then right over here is where you see it. Roaring waterfall, fantastic out here. And then just over here, we're gonna have your covered patio area. You're gonna have tons of sofas, tons of seating. You have amazing ceiling fans above, the wood accents as well. And as we make our way, back towards the pool now. You have this elongated rectangular shaped pool and that waterfall is just incredible. It's something that you don't get to see very often, but it's a nice accent on the property, obviously. As we make our way further down, there's some more surprises over here. Look at this jacuzzi. I know you can see it. You and your significant other over here having the greatest time of their life, relaxing, enjoying your hard work, having a cigar, easy. And then just over here, not done yet. This is another covered area. This is probably where you would have your outdoor eating space. You even have an outdoor fireplace right here. So on this freezing cold Florida nights, boom. Turn this thing on and now you're toasty warm. And then the piece de resistance at the end, we have your golf putting section. I don't have a golf club on me, but you get the idea. You get the idea. So from here, I'm actually gonna head back inside 
head upstairs and show you the guest bedrooms and the main suite. Follow me. As soon as we come down, before we get to the second story, on my right, you're gonna have your first floor laundry room. And then on my left, you have your two car garage over here. If you wanted to take the elevator, you could. You just click this button and it'll come down and open up right over here. But me personally, I'd like to take the stairs because they are beautiful. It's like taking art to the second story. I'll see you guys up there in a second. As soon as I come up, it takes us into our family open loft area. A few places to sit, TV on the wall, even a place to store some drinks over there, access from your elevator. But then looking down over here, a better view of your light fixtures, these huge windows letting in tons of natural light. And it's gonna take us into our first guest area. So in here, check this out. Boom, you got your gym. Treadmill, Peloton, typical things. TV on the wall. Come in here, look at this, Justin. The whole wall of glass. The weights, perfectly organized. And then the cable machine. Perfect, do a little pull-up action. Ow! Do a pull-up action, set your weights, do some chest. You know the vibes, I don't have to tell you how to work out. Place to sit and rest, and more windows to let in natural light. Let's make our way around, head down to the first bedroom now. Just adjacent to this one. We have the guest bedroom number one, and it's next to the second floor laundry room. So into here, king size bed, walk-in closet, and ensuite bathroom. You have this really nice hallway corridor. So it takes you down. And then here we have it again. Another guest bedroom, another walk-in closet, another ensuite. Making your way down even further. This is like the VIP suite in here. You have a bigger size walk-in closet. And then to top it all off, corner view facing one of the most popular cities in Boca Raton, places to hang out, Meisner Park. We're making our way back down the corridor now. This is just like a sitting upstairs room, loft. It's got walk-in closet, access to the balcony, and the ensuite. But now it's time to show you the main suite. This thing is insane. Let me show you around. Come down over here. It's all by itself on one side, nothing next to it. So as soon as you walk in through these double doors, you have like your foyer almost of the bedroom. And there's so many places to turn and go. We'll start over here on my right your walk-in closet. Look at that, look at this thing. You got the typical Chanel accoutrement on the table, your island down below, it's like leather laced, and then all the backlit lights in the closet so when you hang your clothes, your Hermes handbags, you can see everything when you walk in. There's a full length mirror as well, so when I stand over here, I can fix the shirt, adjust, make sure I look good to go, and then this is just one of the closets. When we come across to the other side now, we have a smaller linen bathroom closet in here, a wet bar on my right, drink cooler, sink. Look at the finishes, just for the wet bar, the finishes they put in. This backsplash is like a nice concrete with the wood finish for the shelves and ceiling. It's really nice. And then in here, the bathroom. The shower is a Huge statement. When you open it up, you got the teak wood on the floor, the backsplash, look at this. All these jets, tons of natural light, and the wood design continues on the top as well. Soaking tub right over here, and while you're soaking, you actually have a pretty nice view of the water in the distance. Vanity, every girl's dream. You get the natural light, the artificial light, the bulb, what more could you want, ladies? This is where you get your makeup done. Dual sinks, and then your water closets on each side. As we make our way back in, still not done. Closet number two. This is, that was obviously hers. This would be his. As you come inside, look at this. Darker, still got that cool backlit effect. It's enough place for your shoes, your ties, your jackets, your pants. This is a massive closet. You get like kind of like a built-in island over here, 
and then a window for natural light. Now into the bedroom. This is where you two come together. Everything works. Boom. Into here, king size bed. You got vaulted ceilings, TV on the wall. Nice place to sit in front of the bed. Incredible lights and the view. You're looking into the city. Compare this to living in Miami and looking at the city. Boom. You open it up, you hear nothing but birds chirping, the waterfall in the distance. As you step outside, places to sit and lounge. And it's the same for the other side, places to sit and lounge. Out here, it's just a, it's the most peaceful, relaxing place to be. I want to end it facing that waterfall really quick. From right here, looking down, really does not get much better than this. So on that note, I just want to say thank you for coming on this tour with me. If you enjoyed it, please do not hesitate to give me a subscription, a like, all the good stuff that helps us out. And I hope to see you the next one. I just want to say that I love you, care about you, care about you more than any other YouTuber cares about their audience. That's a fact. And I hope to see you the next one. Never going to stop doing this. Sorry. Can't get rid of me. Have a good day.